Hello everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to my channel. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is basically I'm going to be doing a bit of a shuffle around with my collection. So as you probably noticed in all of my previous videos, um, this is my setup. Basically my little desk, which I absolutely love and it's worked out so far um, to be quite a nice place to sort of display my perfumes. However, um, this room is quite bright and sunny, as you can see, which is lovely. Um, it's really, really nice. But I was just thinking the other day that actually it's probably going to cause quite a lot of these fragrances to go off sooner than they otherwise would. Um, especially because yesterday I was having a chat with a lady from the Guerlain counter when I picked this new one up. So this is the original Mon Guerlain. Um, I absolutely love it, but she was explaining to me that um, as long as these perfumes are stored sort of in the correct conditions, they can last up to like three years or three, four years, that kind of thing. And um, personally, I'd quite like to try and get mine to last even longer than that, um, because, you know, in three years, you know, I, I doubt that I will have used all of these up. I mean, I won't have. So. What I'm going to try and do is move them to somewhere a bit darker. Um, I do have a separate, like, closet, kind of not in this room. It's like a separate closet and it's got like a wardrobe, drawers rather. So I'm going to clear out one of those drawers because at the moment it contains like my clothes and things like that. But I'm actually going to try and clear the top one out and actually use it purely for perfume just to keep these a little bit safer. It's kind of a shame because I think they look lovely here. I love seeing them all on display and I think they look, I just love seeing them all out and it's easy for me to just choose which one I want to wear in the morning and things like that. But um, yeah, I just don't want some of them to start to go off and I am a little bit concerned about that. So I'm going to be moving basically the majority of them into this other drawer, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And what I think I'll do basically is like each week, um, like I'll still keep some out here. I'll keep maybe the ones that I'm going to be wearing throughout the week, just sort of dotted about here, or maybe some there, but I'm not going to have them all out. Like I want to keep ones that I'm not reaching for as much. Well, basically just the majority of them away, um, kept safe. And then the few that I'm reaching for a lot, I'll keep actually out so I can quickly get them. So yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. I know I've not done a video like this before, but um, I personally really, really enjoy watching sort of like decluttering videos, organization videos, um, clean up videos, that type of thing. I find them really relaxing. So I'm hoping that uh, some of you guys might actually enjoy this video. I wasn't gonna film this process, but then I thought, hang on a minute, maybe maybe it would be kind of interesting i'm not sure um i've just realized as well it's kind of good in a way because this is my whole well i mean there's some in another room but this is basically my whole collection so you can kind of see like my whole collection at this point i've been meaning to do a whole video dedicated to just going through every single one in my collection and i actually set up like i put them all here a few weeks ago and i was just about to film it but ugh, something I just couldn't do it like I felt a little bit overwhelmed because I'm quite like a, a thorough I like to talk a lot about each perf perfume that I show if you know what I mean and the idea of just kind of having to go through 40 plus perfumes I just felt a little bit overwhelmed but I guess I could do that video and maybe just literally show them and not really go into much detail but then I probably would end up talking about them and it would take like forever like it would be an extremely long video so I don't know um I might do that but for now I guess we can just have sort of like an overview an overview of my the majority of my fragrance collection and the cleanup process and the organization of them so um yeah Hi guys, I'm back. So um, as you can see, I've moved all of the fragrances uh, that I want to put in the drawer. I've put them all here, like so. And I've started moving some stuff into this drawer that I cleared. So I've got all of the boxes that I had. Well, I got rid of some actually. Um, and I've kept the ones that I want to keep just in the corner there. 
Um, I have a few little like of these pop socks that I'm keeping here for now just because they always get lost and amongst all my other things. So I'm planning, well I might keep them there, I'm not sure yet, so um, I'll sort that out later. Um, but for the time being I want to start moving things into this drawer and I'm just trying to think what's the best way to sort of do it. I think I might start with like some of the larger ones. Maybe my Lanui Tresor 100ml bottle, kind of like towards the back. And then I want to group them all together, roughly more or less. So this is my Lanui Tresor a la folie. And just pop it next to it like that. And Lanui Tresor Eau de Toilette 50ml, that can go there, I guess maybe or no kind of next to it so they're like that yeah what next um i think i'll take my olympia onyx and put that kind of at the back because that's one of the bigger bottles so that can go there like so then i'll put the baby one which just smells the same it's just the original version I'll put that just kind of in front of it, just like that. I like having them together. It's quite cute and also they just smell the same so sometimes I layer them um, or things like that. Next up, Pure Excess. Now I'll put that next to those because this is also a Paco Rabanne fragrance. So I'll put that one kind of there. So we have them like this. Um, Chloe, I think I might actually just leave that one out on my dresser because I'm not too fussed about this one. Like, I actually forgot I had it. Like, this is years and years old and it still smells the same uh, from the day I got it. So I think, I mean, I don't think it's going to go off anytime soon. And it looks quite nice out. Like, I do want to have some things out on my desk, otherwise it'll look too bare. So I'm going to keep this one actually... Um, to go back out on my main desk, just sort of like for display. Um, what next? That's all of the Paco bands, I think. This one here from Victor and Rolf. Mm, where can that one go? I'll just put that sort of in front of the Lanwee Trezors, because again, it's quite a big bottle. And then I'll put my flower bomb one next to it like that then i think i'll go molecular one that's a 100 ml bottle so i'll put that at the back as well just because i think big ones at the back will be a bit better this boss hugo boss private accord really nice smell like chocolate oranges type thing really nice so that can go just in the corner there that's actually the only hugo boss fragrance i own so i don't need to like match it up with any others i can just go in there like that then i think i'll go tom ford noir pour femme and that can go sort of here my roses vanille is 120 ml so this is a huge bottle that can just go there now let me think let me think i think because i have quite a lot of long com fragrances um i'll just put them all together sort of there just because um there's like a few, there's this one as well, Shalimar Souffle de Parfum. And my Mongerlands, which I might leave out on the desk for now actually because I'm going to be doing a video about them very soon. So what next? Those are, oh actually are there any more long con ones? Oh yeah, there's my poem. Poem by Longcom, really nice fragrance, so I'll put that there. Those. 
So this is looking okay so far, I think. Uh, now I think I'll do these two, Poison Girl and Hypnoic Poison. I want to put them kind of towards the front because I love them so much. And I'll probably be reaching for them a fair bit. And what else? I think I'll go... This one here can go in. My Hermes Elixir de Marvai. Which I don't reach for very much. I'd kind of forgotten out about it. Like, you know, when you are obsessed with a fragrance for a bit and then you get a little bit tired of it. And you kind of, like, forget that you have it and kind of stop wearing it for a while. I'm kind of at that stage with this one here. But um, the channel Maisie Scents, she recently did a video on this one and she described it really well. It was like a really accurate description of it and it kind of reawakened, <clears throat> excuse me, it kind of reawakened my um, J the joy of it I suppose I'd kind of forgotten about it but the way that she described it sort of reminded me of how nice it is so I think that'll be a really nice one to reach for in the autumn actually so I'll bear that one in mind what next cloud can go towards the back because it's huge oh I forgot about this one <laughs> oops um, I don't know what to do with that one yeah that's going in here I'm going to shuffle some of these around just because that can go right in the back because it's like so big. sab girl of now very nice gourmand nutty sweet syrupy scent so that can go there i quite like actually being able to see that the top of it because it's very pretty see how it stands out there really unique design on that one this one lolita lempica mon premier parfum now there's actually room on this little cake stand for some fragrances, so I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I might actually dismantle that and put that away because it takes up a lot of room. And I think I'm just going to try and get everything in here right now rather than put them on there. Just because, I don't know, I'm going to try and really clean this area up a bit because it was getting very, very cluttered. So this one as well. My Creed Royal Princess Oud, that can go in here as well. I'll put that near the front for now just because... It's quite small. Um, I think I'll put all my garlands in together. So the Petite Robe Noir range. I have the original one. The Intense one. Black Perfecto 50ml. And Black Perfecto 30ml. I bought this first and then got the 50ml backup bottle because I was worried about running out of it. And I love it so much, I wouldn't want to run out of that one at all. Prada Candy, I really enjoy this one, so that can go there. Uh, Angel Muse, which is quite nice. Um, it's kind of a strange one for me though, because I need to be in the mood for it. And it's quite strong and almost like masculine leaning in my opinion, but I think in the winter I'll really appreciate this one. On some really cold days, I think it'll be lovely. So that can go in there. This is nice because it lays flat anyway, so it's nice to have that one in a drawer. Julia has a gun. Um, that one can go here. Looks nice with those ones, I think. All the kind of um, pinks, oranges, they're like sunset colours over there. That's quite nice. What next? Um, Valentina Poudre. Now, I don't know... See how, like, the opaque bottles, do they actually protect it from light do you know um leave a comment if you do know because i'm not sure if that makes any difference to it going off like if this was put in direct sunlight um for example and then if that one was also put in direct sunlight would it make a difference like would this one be preserved more because it's like opaque i really don't know but for the time being i think i might just chuck it in here 
You might see it reappear on my desk again though because um, it looks really nice. I love having that out on display, this one, and also I don't know if the, oops, the opaque bottle actually protects it from light anyway, I'm not sure. This one, Versace Eros Parfum EDT. It's nice, but I think to me it's like exclusively a summer scent. It's like really light and citrusy and sweet and like... <sighs> I did wear it a few times during summer actually, this is not the usual type of scent I would ever wear um, because it's just so kind of light and citrusy and it's an eau de toilette as well. Like, it's nice, um, I wore it a few times but I'm definitely not going to be reaching for this during the autumn and winter for sure, like at all. Um, so that can go in here somewhere random, I'm not sure where. Um, I'll just chuck it there, I'll just put it there, that one. Um. Um, my Black Opium, which I really enjoy a lot. I love this one. It's so nice. Um, autumn and winter fragrance. Like, beautiful autumn and winter fragrance for sure. Um, I'll be reaching for that one a lot. I think I'm going to put it here next to the other, like, kind of darker bottles. And they're all roughly the same height. So I'm going to put that one there. Um, these are all going back on my desk and oh here's Bean, this one here. Bean, uh, this is the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a Tonka Bean fragrance. And this one was actually, I discovered I wasn't wearing it for ages, I bought this kind of in summer. Um, and I found it quite strong and spicy. But I've just discovered that it layers beautifully with Mansour Rose's Vanille. So I spray like a light, just like maybe two sprays quite far away from my wrist of this. Just a very light mist of it, of this one here. And then I put my regular couple of sprays of Mansour Rose's Vanille over it. And the Tonka in this actually melds beautifully. It actually gives Rose's Vanille that edge that it, I think it needs because it's just very, very kind of linear and sweet. But this gives it a lot of depth and it gives it a slight like this on its own to me is almost like slightly too spicy in fact to me it is a little bit too spicy but with roses vanille this they just smell beautifully together they're so beautiful together and um, so this is a great layering fragrance with um other vanilla scents i think so that one can go in front of manso rose vanille because I think I'm going to wear them always together now, actually, throughout autumn and winter. I think they just, it smells way better having the two of them layered than having either one on their own, in my humble opinion. But um, anyway, so it looks like we're more or less done, actually. <laughs> um, That's quite good. I mean, there's still space here. There's still some space here, Um, which is nice. I thought it would have actually been jam-packed, but it's not. So yeah, these are all my scents so far. These are probably going to go back out on my desk and maybe a few others just because I don't want it looking too bare. I've left my Narciso Rodriguez ones through there for now because I like seeing them together, but I don't know, I might bring them in here, I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, and here we have it. It's suddenly a lot darker because I took hours between some of the takes. <laughs> um, That's why it's... Kind of the lighting's a bit different in here. Um, so yeah, that's what we're left with. So my desk, just with a couple. I mean, it does look a little bit bare. I think it's fine though because the flower garland adds a little bit of something. And actually, sometimes I found in a few videos when I had like all of them in here, it looked a little bit well, it looked very very cluttered. So I'm glad that it doesn't look quite so cluttered. So I've got my little Chloe one there, which looks really nice with the fairy lights. These ones, which I'm going to be doing a video on soon. My two Parfum de Marley. Because I just, I think I'd love to see them out all the time. I don't know. I wouldn't like to have them hidden away just because they're so beautiful. I don't know. I might put this black one next to my Club de Nuit. And then have this pink one kind of with those. How does that look? I don't know. Um, I think I'll be shimming these around a little bit more, so I'm not sure how it's going to look finally. I might even bring a few more from the drawer like through here again, but the main idea I suppose was just to get 
the bulk of them away from the sunlight when I'm not using them, essentially. But the ones I am using, or a few that I want out, I'll put them out again. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're a fan of perfume, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Um, I upload about twice a week, usually Wednesday and Saturday, and my videos are all about perfume. So yeah, if, if that's your thing, then um, I'd love to have you here. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.